It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line with the Washington Redskins. Throwing on first is Wentz. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a loss of two on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he connects with Ertz. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. An eagle first down, Wentz to Ertz. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. Now the rookie from Notre Dame, it's Josh Adams. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Partner, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking with those big behemoths starting to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. On play action, wins. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. An eagle first down, Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it down to the 30-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Second down, Adams. And he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Go, go, run, run. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. I haven't met a defensive coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense, partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. Here we go, here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because when they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. 
Watson! Waiting! Now they'll throw it. Wentz. Burt has it left side. And they'll get this down to the 10. An eagle first down there, Wentz to Ertz, and the names that end in TZ. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, just keep throwing it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard from 10 yards out. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. As if this Eagles team didn't have enough weapons, now you throw the rookie Dallas Goddard into the mix. Makes a huge impact with his size, especially in the red zone. And he comes through right there. Elliott good on the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. Elliott now to kick this one away. Now here's Johnson. Shifts by him. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Washington Redskins. Charles, this is a team as their offense comes back out. This is a team that you've seen several times this year. What do you make of this crew as we hit the home stretch of the regular season? They're old school. I mean, truly old school football. Run the football on offense, stop the run on defense, and that's how they've won games. Adrian Peterson, been a revelation this season. Multiple games over 100 yards, approaching 100 yards in other games, but when he doesn't run it well, they don't win the football game. And that defensive front starting to come into its own, stopping the run and making people one-dimensional, that's how they win their games best not throwing the ball. And just looking at their schedule towards the end of the season, week 13 and 17, both against the Eagles, those could be two huge football games. Could be monster games, and don't forget, Washington already has a win over Dallas earlier this year. Here's McCoy. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. All right, here we go. Green, third. On third down, McCoy. And he drops this off to Thompson, complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Give him six on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. Philly's offense getting the ball again here in just a second, but if you look at the NFC picture as a whole, a lot of talk, understandably so, about the Rams and the Saints, the Panthers even, but what kind of chance do you give the Eagles of getting back to the Super Bowl? I'd give them a good chance because Carson Wentz continues to get better coming back from the knee injury. They made the deal to get Golden Tate, which gives him another weapon at receiver, and that's starting to get better for them. Zach Ertz has been tremendous at tight end. They need to get healthier in the offensive line, get that back intact, and that defense can be very, very good, especially Fletcher Cox wrecking things from his defensive tackle position. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Here we go, here we go. On second down now, Adams. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. 
Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, there, quick, Hang quick, there, quick. Now. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now a play fake, Wentz. And incomplete on the deep ball. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's third down. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and press your advantage. They fake the give. Now wins. It's a gain of nine yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. And here come the Redskins now. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Let's go! Three, nine, A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. He finds an opening past the 40, and he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 at a first. If you're an Adrian Peterson fan, that's the sign that you want to see right there on the other end. They got to learn to get him down, or this could be a long one. And it's also the sign that his team wanted to see, him making that type of a run, having a force and an impact on the game that early. That really demoralizes the defense because they realize it could be a long game trying to get him on the ground. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. Nine yards is the pickup there, and they'll have a second and one. Peterson, Charles, at age 33, I think when he signed with the Redskins, people were wondering what would this season be like well, it started off pretty good. Yeah, and you remember the reason why they're asking that question. Age 33, last season didn't end very well in Arizona. Had some good games, but was hurt down the stretch. Didn't have those games again. But now, 96 yards in the season opener for Washington at Arizona. Comes back for 20 against Indianapolis. And then 120, a big performance against Green Bay. At his best, you're getting to Adrian Peterson, the defense is fear. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. On first and 10, McCoy throwing the out route incomplete. That's Thompson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make it second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this right, second and nine. Three, From the gun, McCoy. Harris has it over the middle. 
And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Let's go. Three, let's go. They'll run with Peterson. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Let's go! Three, three, they'll give it to him up the middle. Three, three, and they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Rolling to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. Wentz. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body, ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control, and you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. To throw his wins. And that is incomplete. Breaking that one up, the former All-Pro, Josh Norman. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now it's Crowder. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try to move the football. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Second down, Peterson. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative. But you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. 
to throw on third down. McCoy. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Chris Long coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now Wentz. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Hey, with that incompletion, time to have some fun. And I want to know, at the Davis household, who carves the turkey? Well, certainly not me. Well, I knew that. I can tell you that. <laughs> but let's just switch it. Who cares who carves the turkey? I want to know what you're going to be knocking down on your plate uh, on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, well, definitely turkey. Now, my mom's corn and green bean casserole, while it may not sound overly appetizing, is out of this world. And her sweet potato casserole, second to none. So, I should be making my plans to yeah. fill a seat at the Gauden household. Come, come, you, you're more than welcome. Because I think my household may kick me out. <laughs> what do you, what's your favorite? What's on your plate? I'm telling you, when you throw the yams at me, look out, because I'm going to go, I'm going to go to town. That's like dessert to me. Well, how about dessert? I go pecan and apple pie with vanilla ice cream. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I like the pecan pie, but I do love a chocolate pie. I can't help myself. It's one of my favorites. Here's Wentz to throw. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it. Somehow, ball finds his way back to him. Atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Here we go now. 3 19. Looking to throw on second down. McCoy. This one complete to Jordan Reed. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Well, they were unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. The Redskins on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 8. All right, here we go. Boom. Operating from the gun. McCoy and he'll go out of bounds it looks like right at the 40 they get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down a really nice catch but bottom line that should have gone for more yardage give him a pass in the flat that allows him to get upfield there's plenty of distance between him and all the defenders actually cost himself some yardage there yeah they got the completion but it could have been so much more now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback the Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Here we go, here we go. They'll begin the drive with Sproles, and he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play, 
and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. From the 22, here's second and eight. On second down, here's Wentz. And his pass incomplete. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. The Eagles on, on third Let's down. Go. Two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Working from the gun, Wentz. Aguilar has it. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it a second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now, Wentz again. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. The Redskins offense now, they head back onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag, punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Peterson. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, yeah, often known as yeah, the nasty baby. side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. All right, here we go. Now a play fake here on first down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And they give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They go play action here on first down. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Fletcher Cox breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so.
And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. All right, here we go. 3 19. From the gun, McCoy. And this is going to be incomplete. Out of the backfield, Adrian Peterson was the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. The Redskins on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and a mile. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Operating from the gun. McCoy. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They start on the ground with Adams. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Go, go. 180. Yeah, yeah. Wins to throw on second down. Over the middle, complete to Tate. And a loose football into the Redskins' head that they do. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Here we go now. Boom. Attempt carry now for Peterson. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Now let's go. Green, 39. Green. Throwing on third and long. McCoy is going to flip one out here to his running back. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So now on fourth down, the Redskins will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Now, that's something of a pick-me-up, but the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it. Those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. 
Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Throwing now is Wentz. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really <laughs> nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Wentz throwing on second down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Back-to-back -back good go. plays have them on the move on first down. Here we go, here we go. 120. What's that? What's that? Wentz now on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That throw good for four. It's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Throwing on first is Wentz. Jeffrey with a catch left side. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Wentz going to lead his guys up first and 10, and he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Wins to throw again. This complete left side to Aguilar. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock the Alvin away and bring up second down. Back to the air on second down. Wentz. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Hang in there. 
This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Shotgun now for Wentz. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Kick by Elliott is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11 play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Here comes Johnson on the return. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. So out now come the Redskins. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play, because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now McCoy, caught on the right side, Reed. The completion good for three, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately, because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. All right, here we go. Green! From the gun, McCoy. It's brought in by Harris. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. On first down, McCoy. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. 
Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here we go now. Green 39. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first right, level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Back to the ground. This time it's Peterson. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They run again on first down, Peterson. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. And off comes to Peterson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. First down, here's a run with Peterson. Right here, right here. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. To throw on second down, McCoy. And McCoy loses the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Throwing on third and long, McCoy. That's going to be caught. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Jamison Crowder, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Redskins are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good, and we are even at 10 apiece. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. 
And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But you also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Go, go. On first down, Wentz. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards through the air and a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They'll run it now out of the gun. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Wentz now to throw. Dancing to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. If there's any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels. The Eagles on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. From the gun, it's Wentz. And he's got it complete to Darren Sproles. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. On first and ten, here's Wentz. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. On first down, Adams try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, second down. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They'll run again with Adams. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Play action. Wins. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. In you force Hang a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. 
Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. To throw, it's Wentz. And that is incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? And Elliott puts this one through. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. Well, they don't get a touchdown here in the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Throwing on first down, McCoy, and Reed with it over the middle. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. For the tackle there by Chris Long. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Here comes the pressure, and the Eagles get there to block it. And they're going to wind up with a football now at the 37-yard line. So they get there, they get the block. That can turn out to be a big play. Everyone's looking for a difference maker. Everyone's looking for an edge. If you get a block playing special teams, that could be the huge difference that you're looking for. And tough sledding. You'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. On second down, Adams. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The Eagles on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and eight. Working from the gun, Wentz. A dump off to Sproles. 
It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And the kick by Elliott is good. And that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Green, 39! Green, 39! Operating from the gun, McCoy. He's got Thompson here, complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave them with a third and five. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. It's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll begin here with Adams. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21 yard line. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Where Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage, they've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Wentz now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Now a play fade. Wentz. 
And he finds a man with a crossing route. A good pick up there, 26 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. They'll run it now out of the gun. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. On second down now, Adams. And he'll take this one down to the 36. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On third down, it's Adams. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we gotta get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Here we go, here we go. Wade! Wentz will try again on second down. Forced out to his left. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. To throw his wins. And it's caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Joshua Perkins, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles had six to their lead. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Wentz, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Elliott now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. And he drops this off to Thompson complete. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll make it second down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Off play action, McCoy. His throw incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target, and it's third down. A little too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. The Redskins on third down. A pretty anemic, a very anemic. One for nine thus far. This is third and nine. Here we go now. From the gun, McCoy. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Jordan Reed has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. On first down, McCoy. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Throwing on first down, McCoy toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. to throw again. McCoy. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's McCoy. This one caught by Chesson. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. A gain of six there on first. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Set. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. All right, here we go. Green, 39. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. The pro bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Looking to throw. McCoy, Ronald Darby that time, the one who got a hand in and knocked it free. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. All right, here we go. Now here's Three, a whistle 39. as flags Three, come 39. in. And we'll check out the call. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. Hurry up, here we go. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to let this one go deep. And that is incomplete. Jay Gruden's guys unable to convert on fourth down. And the Eagles' defense able to hold. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. And they'll run it here with Adams. Not much there, maybe a couple up to the 35. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll run on first down. Adams. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Tackle made there by Mason Foster. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Back man. Waiting. On second down, Adams. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. On third down, it's Adams. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left.
The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden, it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Hurry up, here we go. Blue line it. Blue line. Throwing again, McCoy. Oh, he got position on him and he pulls it in. A very solid gain of 27. First down now, but that clock rolling. On first and 10, McCoy. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Chris Long in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Looking to throw on second down. McCoy. Harris has it over the middle. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And we've reached the one minute mark in this game. On third down, McCoy. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. And they'll get up and spike it right at 40 seconds to go. to throw on second down. McCoy, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. All right, here we go. 319! 319! Back to throw. McCoy. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.